a rivet right here, but it's not, it's pulling through the material on the back. And so I'm going to have to put a small washer on the back for the rivet to grab a hold of, so these have to come out. longer rivets. These ones are uh, 1 8 inch diameter, 3 8 inch to 1 half inch grip range. I'm sliding it through the hole. I'm taking the small washer, putting it underneath, and sliding it up over the nail head. So when I crimp it down, that washer <laughs> is supposed to get stuck under there. Well, this one worked. What did I do different? Oh, I got too big of a washer. My fault. Drill out another one. This is not working. Let's try this one. All right. Let's try this one with the washer and see how that works out. No, got to get a combination here somewhere. All right, let's see how that is. Yes, that is the combination. Now I know. Now we just have to do that about 30 more times. 
not believe this but I was out there riveting the reflector screen together and this uh, prong to a rivet was actually stuck inside the rivet gun where it's just like that little bit was sticking out and I could not get that out for love nor money I even tried using pliers and everything well doggone it if I didn't take this thing apart and put it back together got it out and it works I ran one rivet through to test it. So these are my victory rivets. I'm going to be hanging those suckers on the wall. Let me tell you. I had no idea how this thing worked. But now I do. Actually, it was a pretty simple device. One little spring inside uh, that just went flying all over. And I had to go rescue it off the floor in various places. But got it back to working again. So I'm back on the job again tomorrow. <laughs> Jaws, 